Shout out to this week's sponsor, Squarespace, the awesome all-in-one website building platform. Hey, what's up? This is A-Wing here. The Nike and acronym Blazers have been out for a couple of weeks now and there was certainly a lot of hype around them and since the Soulbox launch event, people have now been picking up that 3D printing functionality, creating some designs of their own and sharing them with others. It's been pretty cool. But alongside that sneaker release has been something else that in theory people were very excited about, a Nike and acronym clothing collection. To understand the significance of this, you only need to look back to Nike Lab ACG, effectively a collaboration between the two lasting four years and despite ending in 2018, still has a lot of recognition and hype today. A lot of people considered it an opportunity to get acronym designs and functionality at a cheaper price, not to mention that some of those pieces are more recognizable than many mainline acronym ones. And since the end of that collection, people have constantly been asking, and there's been rumors, when's the next Nike and acronym stuff? When's there gonna be more Nike Lab ACG? There's genuinely been a buzz for such a thing existing again. And now we have it, thanks to the release of the blazer. This comes in the form of two different tracksuits in three colors each, and an accompanying jersey in two colors. But this release has seen a really mixed reception from acronym fans and non-fans alike. And although it has been selling through in some colors and styles, it's been slower to do so than the blazers that really headlined this collection, suggesting that maybe this stuff doesn't quite have as much appeal as the shoes do. As you can see in the back, and you've probably seen on Instagram, I picked myself up two pieces from this clothing collection, the woven track jacket and matching pants in the multi colorway, so I can tell you why you're all wrong. Okay, maybe not, but we are gonna look at three different things. What makes them interesting and how well do they represent the acronym brand? Why does it seem like so many people have been so vocal about not liking this clothing? And are people sleeping on some underrated pieces here? Are these things you should pick up for yourself? Let's have a further look. As I mentioned in the Blazer video, this collection is styled after martial arts training gear. The promo images, the styling make this clear enough, but comparing directly, you can see this is a take on this kind of training uniform. Panel tracksuits bearing dojo insignia to the chest, and the 80s fit calling back to that golden age of martial arts film gaining renewed popularity around the globe. Also check some of the typography associated with this collection created by graffiti artist NESM, which appears like an anglicized version of traditional Chinese calligraphy in a similar fashion to the kinds of fonts you would see used to promote old kung fu movies when they released in the West. Martial arts is one of the inspirations acronym co-founder Errolson Hugh has cited on numerous occasions as inspiration for the mainline clothing, so there is a bit of a link here, however instead of clothing that is inspired by the movement of martial arts and clothing designed to facilitate that, we're looking at a much more literal interpretation of how do we create an acronym and Nike dojo training uniform. That's the background, the Nike and acronym mood sheet, and here we have the matching jacket and pants in the multi colorway. This is by far the flashiest set. The others are far easier to wear, so I can see how the black combo has been more popular, but I actually really like this set. The dazzle camo here on the arm is super eye-catching, but doesn't quite take over. Differing from the blazers, the shredded effect here is far more prominent, revealing a reflective material underneath, which is a super cool touch. The face fabric, I certainly wouldn't want to get it caught on anything, but the nature of the finish is such that you wouldn't even notice if it got a bit damaged over time. The paneling feels very retro-inspired in terms of placement, but instead of having neon colors, You've got this black and white high contrast combo with the brown as well, which is pretty unusual and still keeps it feeling fresh. The fit makes it super casual, being nice and relaxed. It's a bit of a contrast to your typical tech wear stuff. And for someone that's got a lot of quite tapered or form fitting things in their wardrobe, I was quite happy to try these out on that basis. They are a little bit oversized, as you can see. I normally go for an M in jackets and an L in pants. Uh, both of these are M here, so I actually sized down on the pants because the waistband was so big. Luckily, they are still just about long enough. And yeah, true to size in the jacket, I feel gives a nice, slightly roomy fit. I wouldn't say to go down a size on this or anything, because I feel like that slight relaxed roomy nature is intentional. This isn't really supposed to be a really form-fitting jacket. That said, to an extent, everyone's gonna have their own fit preferences. While I really like this colorway, the pants are pretty eye-catching by themselves. They are just really, really white. There's a danger of them being a bit too over-centralizing. Luckily, with the jacket, they present a nice combo and I think balance 
balance the two out fairly effectively. And I absolutely love the panelling here where you can see these lightning bolt-like designs going down the side. However, I think wearing these alone without the jacket is going to be pretty tricky, whereas the jacket, I find you can pair this up with some much less over-the-top clothing, and it still makes for a nice kind of fun, interesting pop. So for that reason, I would consider the jacket to be the far more essential piece of this set, particularly as it does have more fun stuff to talk about in the way of features as well, which we'll get to a little bit later. Worth mentioning, of course, you're not going to have that problem with the other colorways, having them presented predominantly in black, in which case it represents a nice opportunity to get a slightly exaggerated fit drop crotch pair of pants, even if they're not necessarily too technical in any particular way. We've talked about the overall looks, and you can probably see that the aesthetic similarities to both mainline acronym and Nike Lab ACG are fairly sparse. Later Nike Lab releases did use quite vibrant colors and patterns. You can see some relationship between the Dazzle camo and the concentric circle pattern or the lines that you'll see on some later pieces. The color scheme is pretty different though with brown never really showing up and they never attempted a track jacket or anything under Nike Lab ACG. Similarly, Acronym only has a kind of vague immediate aesthetic relationship. They have recently attempted some multicolored options, but those were fairly limited in number. They were Acronym.com exclusive. And overall, I think you can see the look is pretty different. It's not like what we've got here is a continuation of those ideas from mainline Acronym. The more direct martial arts inspiration that led to the heavy use of these tracksuits and the retro styling overall, which meant that they've leaned far more heavily on graphic motifs and this laser cut camouflage to provide that touch of futurism just means that there's a little incongruence with mainline acronym or Nike Lab ACG. I feel like this obvious separation is at the core for a lot of people's distaste for this clothing. People will have had expectations for this, and what we've got is likely very different to those. This is likely to alienate people who love acronym or Nike Lab ACG designs, but don't want to pay the high costs associated with those, or trawl through Grailed for some crusty 7 out of 10 jacket. The design language is extremely different, the nylon construction probably doesn't meet people's expectations for tech wear clothing. All in all, it's just not a good substitute or a replacement for either of those two brands. But also, because this obviously doesn't match the luxury and refinement of mainline acronym, this is likely to alienate a lot of purists as well, who would see something that is so logo heavy and eye-catching as tacky and unrefined. So why are all these people wrong? Well, they're not necessarily. Of course, everyone is entitled to have their own expectations for a collection and their own wants or desires, particularly when the alternatives are not really that readily available. You're not getting Nike Lab ACG back, you're not getting acronym on the cheap. There's no doubt this was conscious, they could have made ACG 2.0 if they wanted to. But what you do get isn't really being done elsewhere, which gives this its own value not derived from those previous collections. At the same time, it still fits into the world of acronym thanks to the multi-material construction techniques, some interesting features which we'll get to later, and its own aesthetics using those very familiar acronym logos and graphic elements, but in a different different way to how they would normally implement them on their mainline clothing. I love that it's fun, it's flashy, it's attention grabbing, and it is different to all of that stuff that's come before, whether that be Nike or Acronym. And to me, as I said with the Blazer video, that is definitely the value of a good collaboration and what Acronym tend to bring to the table with this kind of stuff. Um, and I get that people are not necessarily going to like the final product, but I would urge you to judge it on its own merit at least. Before we dive further into features, since the release of the sneaker dyeing video, I've been thinking about turning that into a written tutorial, something that would be far easier for people to follow than the video. Unfortunately, I don't have a website, which is where today's paid sponsor Squarespace are coming in clutch, and I'm going to make use of them to set something up. They have a suite of blogging tools making publishing guides and articles really, really easy, and they can suggest a list of templates based on the type of website that you want to create. So you really can minimize the messing around in the design aspect and just get around to making the website content. The other thing that really appealed is integration with social media so I can put all that hot This Is Antoine content on a nice easy to reach tab so you can check all the cool fits in one interesting place and you can integrate social content within articles. Great as well that all the Squarespace templates include mobile friendly versions because I found that there is a big 
mix of people watching this content both on desktop and on mobile. I've been setting something up so there's a written guide that you can check out and of course you can check out squarespace.com slash thisisantoine to grab yourself a free trial and having a go at making your own website and when you're ready to actually get going and publish some stuff squarespace.com slash this is Antoine will get you 10% off a new domain or site. Thanks again to Squarespace for being the paid sponsors of this video. Let's check out some jacket features. A big specific complaint is that, oh, the collection has no performance. Where's the performance? And to an extent, this is kind of true in that both Acronym and Nike Lab ACG rely very heavily on material performance and branded materials like Gore-Tex to communicate a lot about what they do. We have to expect that this collection is just not designed for the same kind of heavy or intensive use. However, that doesn't mean that the fabric choices here are inappropriate. Taking the woven stuff here, for example, it's using this two layer material with a nylon face fabric, which is fairly thin, but kind of swishy as well, and an inner layer, which is this super open structured, but quite soft nylon. Um, which feels much better next to skin. The two layers together does make these fairly weighty pieces, but nonetheless, it gives you this uh, kind of nice airy and not too dense, not too constricting feeling. The nylon is recycled too, which is pretty nice. And you can check on the arm, you've got this contrast material terry cloth section here, like a mini sweat towel. So after you've finished a roundhouse kicking a street full of bad dudes, you can just mop your brow super easy and cool like. Less technical construction, of course, also allows for the price to be kept down. £270, yes, that is a lot for a Nike jacket, but let's not forget that the Nike Lab ACG Gore-Tex stuff was more like £500. But you're probably going to be most interested in the zip array on the woven jacket, because that is really where all the features and fun stuff in this entire collection are concentrated. And yes, we can see examples of acronym or acronym-like functionality, at lower cost. First of all, check out the main zip. It uses the same kind of escape zip functionality we've seen on many acronym jackets before. I say the same, it's actually a little bit different. Rather than pulling up from the top, you can separate this jacket wherever the zip is on the zip track. Fun fact, this functionality was originally designed for use on children's coats, so you can remove a child's jacket if they're too young to do it for themselves. What does that say about acronym fans? It works very well, it's fun to do, it can be a little bit disconcerting because it requires a little bit of force to get it to open, but once you get over that, it's fine. The other zip track though is even more fun because it's got three separate features on here. At the bottom you've got an expansion zip to open up the hem of the jacket, this is done because with the escape zip functionality you can't have a double zip on the same track. Then above that you've got a little semi-concealed pocket, perfect for all your snacks of course, and it's good to have a zipped pocket for a little bit of added security on a jacket like this because there are no internal pockets. But function number three, this is where stuff gets good, the acronym Zip Sling. Brand new functionality, people. Instead of having your regular jacket sling, that of course acronym have used for many, many years now, we have instead this semi-connected zip track that runs around the back of the jacket, bisecting the acronym Dynamics logo. Splitting the zip effectively turns it into a strap to carry the jacket, and I was surprised at how well this worked, because even though it appears to be non-elastic and non-adjustable, by using the locking zip, you can adjust where this jacket sits on you and change that fit up to your liking. Luckily because it sits externally it doesn't like split the jacket apart or anything, you can't feel it when you wear it either, and although it looks like this kind of weird DIY project almost with it going over the top of the logo and it looking very sort of unstructured, in person and when actually using it I just found it works really well. In my opinion this is a perfect example of what acronym do. So many other brands have looked at jacket sling functionality and thought oh that's cool we should put that on our jacket and essentially lifted it. But what they've done here is gone back to the drawing board and re-looked at that idea of how can we provide a system to carry a jacket when you don't want to wear it and just come up with something new from the ground up. Everyone else kind of copied the end result rather than the inspiration or the problem that led them to make that design in the first place. And I think that helps prove the value in this jacket's existence alongside all the other stuff that came before it. The two material loops at the end of each zip track provide extra storage options. I'm not sure how desperate I would be to attach a carabiner to a jacket. I'd rather do this to like pants or a belt or something but more options is certainly always welcome and having something that you can easily hang a pair of sunglasses from is also a good idea as well that's something that I always look for and find really useful when I do
do have access to it. Ultimately, what's clear is that if you're thinking about buying any of this stuff, you have to be able to appreciate it for what it is and not what people want it to be. If you're treating this as the antidote to Nike Lab ACG's poor availability, you're probably gonna come away disappointed. It's not as feature rich, it doesn't have the same look, it's just not the same. But if you love the idea of a fun, head-turning, spring-summer collection set with a little bit of creative functionality, if you're looking at the woven jacket, then you'll get a kick out of this for sure. And it's for that reason that the woven jacket is the thing that I would be quickest to recommend. Not only does it exemplify all of those fun aesthetic features and those changes from Acronym and Nike Lab ACG in that regard, but it's really the one piece out of everything that presents all of those fun and creative functional elements too. As always though, it's over to you. I know this stuff has been out for a couple of weeks now, so maybe some of you have picked this stuff up already. I know the black version with the little red Terry cloth sleeve uh, has been the most popular one. So maybe some of you guys have been enjoying that. Let me know what you think of it if you have actually picked this stuff up. Or if you're not quite so keen, then you can roast me in the comments, I guess. Shout out to everyone last week for giving their mega valuable feedback on the two jackets. A lot of you guys already own one or two of those jackets already. So great to have some extra opinions on that stuff. Shout out to Surtax, for example, giving the little mini review on one of the previous Orbit Gear jackets there. If you're not subscribed yet, you better go on and do it. And if you haven't checked out all of the videos, there's gonna be some more going up there. And of course, we've got new content coming out every single week. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. That's mega appreciated. And we'll catch you back for the next one.